Our adventure at Windstar Farm continues where again, life is good. Here's another first crop representative of the sensational racehorse. Um, and I'm with David Hanley, Vice President of Windstar. Before we talk about this pair, let's talk a little bit more about uh, life is good because that record is so, so good. Not only was he a nine time winner from 12 stars, four time grade one winner, the Woodward, the Whitney, the Pegasus World Cup, the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, nine triple digit buyers. Mm -hmm. Just a <clears throat> sensational racehorse. He was an incredible horse, uh, very sound, had a little setback at the end of his two year old year, early three year old year, which knocked him out for a few months. But uh, what a racehorse. Oh. So competitive, so sound, beautiful horse, beautiful mover. Every time he worked, he was spectacular. Every time he ran, he never disappointed. Amazing horse. And yeah, it looks like he is not disappointing as a sire. From the few yeah. foals I've seen, he is stamping them. Yeah, the, the foals are spectacular. They have a lot of what he has. Yeah. They're beautiful movers, great hip and hind leg. Oh. And when they go to walk, they just move exactly like he does. Just reach and hits the ground really light, drives off the back end, and they all have got that quarter on them and great minds. So oh, yeah. we're really excited about what we're seeing. Now it was beautiful watching mm. this filly move, the step up, track mm. up, yeah. gorgeous. And we got to give some love to the mom here. This yeah. is Blue Violet by a Breeders' Cup champion, yeah. Hall of Famer, Curlin. Curlin, uh, out of a mare called Geisha, who's by Silver Deputy. Oh, nice. And even though Curlin himself's out of a Deputy Minister mare, oh, yeah, that, that cross coming back with Deputy Minister was very successful. And this mare was third in the Rachel Alexandra, third in the Double Dog Dare, ran a lot, and we bought her as she, after she retired. We bred her to Pioneer the Nile, tap it, and then, um, you know, we, we didn't get, they didn't really do that well. It was actually, Medaglia was the third horse we bred her to. So we decided to go on for some speed, and we bred her to uh, In the Mischief, and along came Dazzling Blue. Oh, who was a stakes winner and third in two group twos. So this filly would be a three-quarter sister because That's Life right. is Good is a son of Intimistia. So with that, we went to Life is Good. It was an obvious move for us. And, yeah. Uh, she's back in fall to Life is Good again. So. Beautiful. And loved the fall we got. And she got good individuals before, but they took time. There were three and they, they needed time. And the dazzling blue obviously in the mischief put some more precocity in there yeah it looks like the and, same and we're hoping that's what we're going to get here too so because she's an april full yeah yes, yes. wow look at the leg leggy, on her leggy and uh, just a beautiful mover great temperament and you know that's the one thing that strikes you about all his folds is they seem to be picking up his movement and balance and uh also the head and these yes! fillies have a filly's head <laughs> they've got such quality about them and they all have a they drop their head and they move the way he did. So very excited to see that passing on. They talk about the look of eagles. You can certainly see that here. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, having met Life is Good when he was a racehorse, I was kind of struck by his quiet confidence. Yeah. And I feel that with these foals we're being introduced to. Yes. Yeah, they've, they've got the same demeanor, same way of moving, <laughs> same, same disposition. It's stand quietly and... Yeah, very, very much he's, he's putting his own temperament through to his folds. Well, they are a beautiful pair. Life is good indeed.